ロードクターイモトヤマト先生はいこんにちはあの遠くからご苦労様です Hello and thank you for interviewing me、uh, from all the way it's in it's, France、uh, it's an honor a true honor to be interviewing you I just want to remind quickly the people that are listening That you've done some groundbreaking research that h a v e tremendously impacted this world, and you're an international renowned scientific, scientist from Japan, and you have been featured in What the Bleep Do We Know, and, and, and your work is absolutely beautiful. So, thank you. It's, it's, it's our honor to be interviewing you on your book, The, the Hidden Secrets of Water. And my first question. You mean hidden messages in water? And my first、uh, question to you would be What have you discovered? Can you tell us the essence of what you have discovered? The essence of what you have discovered is that the essence of what you have discovered is that the essence of what you have discovered is that the essence of what you have discovered is that the essence of what you have d i s c o v e r さえること、えー、それをビジュアルな、ね、形で発見をしたということでしょうか。I believe first of all what I found out is water can carry information in it and、uh, it can express this information to the world and、uh, what I became、uh, What, what became possible、uh, because of my research was、uh, that everyone can see it visibly what water can carry. So, can you explain a little further why you chose water as the element of your research? Originally,、uh, I worked、uh, as a doctor of alternative medicine, and in my treatment,、uh, I wanted to use homeopathic remedy. However, many of、uh, the remedies uh, were uh, prohibited uh, in Japan. So I just、uh, thought it might be possible to use water with information in it instead of homeopathic remedy. So, so can you tell us the, the process of, of your research? What, what have you done? So, I thought water should carry the information in it, and、uh, we might be able to see that、uh, in a crystal form. So, we decided to freeze water first. So, what we do is usually、uh, put、uh, water in a petri dish and then freeze this water、uh, in a freezer. And the temperature is minus five、uh, degrees in Celsius. Minus 25. Minus 25 degrees. Minus 25、uh, degrees uh, in Celsius. And then, after freezing、uh, this sample,、uh, we put it under the microscope. And、uh, with the light of the microscope,、uh, this ice piece starts,、uh, starts to get melted. And in the process of this melting, it makes crystal forms. So, in, your, in, in, in the book, you show some amazing pictures that are different. That are different depending on the, the message that it was exposed to, the music or the prayers from monks or the location in this world. Can you explain to us your discovery in that regard? I mean, how does it, how does it change? 
、えー、と例えばあのこの実験で、えー、例えば水に音楽を聴かせたり祈りを送ったり違う場所の世界,世界のいろんな場所の水を取ったりされていますけれどもそれが何の時にどのように変わったということを簡単にご説明いただけますか、まあネガティブな情報を与えたり、まあ、そういう中にいる時の水は、えー、結晶を作らないあるいは NP 結晶しか作らない、えー、ポジティブなあ情報を与えたりその環境の中にいる時はあ水はあ美しい、えー、結晶を形にすることが分かりました。What I found out in general is that、uh, when, uh, w- when, the wa- when the water is exposed to negative vibration, such as、um, negative thoughts or negative words or anything negative,、uh, water doesn't form any crystal, or even、uh, it forms crystal,、uh, the shape、uh, looks very ugly, not beautiful at all. However, when we expose water to positive things such as、uh, beautiful music or positive words or positive prayer, water、uh, has the tendency to create beautiful、uh, crystals in a、uh, beautiful shape like hexagon or symmetric forms. So, what are the, 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 the mysteries of this universe? That is revealed、uh, through, through this research as far as this universe being vibration and frequency. この宇宙というのは、えー、振動とか周波数でできているんですけれどもその宇宙のミステリー神秘というものをこの実験や研究によって解明されたとするならばそれは何だったんでしょうかまあ、あまずクリエイターというもの神の存在というものをどうしてもこれを、えー、肯定せざるを得なくなりましたそしてその神のこの宇宙や、えー、この地球を設計したコンセプトがあ調和であるということビッグハーモニーであるということがあかりましたそしてその彼の設計プランを水に秘めてこの地球もしくは宇宙にまんべんなく伝えた伝播させてきているのが今の現在の宇宙でありそれに対してアンハーモニーなようなバイブレーションを我々はこの地球上で作って行ってきてしまっているそれによって、えー、多くの混乱やあまあ自然災害だとかそのようなものが発生していて、えー、まあ2012年がどうのこうとかいうような噂まで出てくるようになっている現状で、えー、あ,るあると思いますね。First of all, I think,、uh... Water、uh, wanted to put、uh, his message in it, in, in water. And、uh, because of my discovery,、uh, I personally、uh, became、uh, the person who has to believe the existence of divine or something great, or you could also call it God. Because、uh, without、uh, this presence or existence,、uh, nothing was created. And、uh, of course,、uh, God put his message or his design or plan in the water. And、uh, the, if we discover this secret from the water,、uh, we will be able to uh, find uh, the answer. And、uh, what he wanted to communicate to us is everything、uh, should be created、uh, in the harmonious way. So everything should be in harmony in the universe. However,、uh, if we forget about that, if, if we forget about the harmony in the universe,、uh, something negative could happen in the planet. 
for example, we have cata catastrophes such as um, earthquake or tidal wave or uh, all those natural disasters or uh, other uh, tragic uh, accidents. Uh, and uh, now people are really worried about uh, 2012 you know, something might have, something uh, like uh, the world might end uh, around that time. So, 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 or, or if uh, we, uh, we can uh, find out uh, this secret uh, that, you know, harmony should be uh, accomplished uh, in the planet, uh, we uh, should uh, be able to uh, avoid all those tragedies. And uh, in fact, uh, we have had uh, many uh, accidents uh, or tragedies in only last last few months. For example, uh, earthquake in Haiti, or uh, disaster in Chile, or in China. Um, and uh, all of these things are happening because uh, we do not have enough harmonious balance on this planet. So any kind of imbalance can cause this imbalance accident uh, in the nature and on the planet and on the ground. Uh, and also, uh, we should have balance between uh, or among nations. Each country uh, has to have uh, its own role in a very harmonious, balanced way. But if uh, we, don't, we do not have enough balance among nations, uh, that can create uh, tragedy and disaster as well. However, uh, despite we have all these challenges in the nature, uh, many people start to be awakened nowadays. So more and more people start understanding uh, that we need to have harmony. And uh, very fortunately, I think many people uh, learn these lessons uh, through learning water. So uh, the more uh, people uh, learn about water, the better uh, their understanding uh, become. In that way... Uh, Sorry. Okay, yeah, so uh, I think it's very fortunate and uh, fortunate that well, many people are going towards the positive direction by learning the secret of water. I would like to ask Dr. Okay. Imoto if, if the, if, if the uh, crystals have changed recently or if he sees in a scientific proof of the change of frequency on the planet. あの、この地球で周波数が変わりつつあるっていうようなことが科学的に何かあの解明されたかとか結晶自体が変わったというようなことはありましたか？あの全体の集合意識というものでそれをしておられるのがやはり環境問題だとかそういうことがあるんじ
Um, I'm not sure uh, that uh, you are talking about uh, the collective consciousness uh, would change the frequency of the world, or you know you are talking about uh, the uh, environmental issues. Um, however, uh, I think uh, I think uh, snowflakes uh, is a is kind of like a form of a crystal. And uh, when we uh, receive snow and snowflakes uh, from the heaven, some people say uh, snowflakes are uh, the letter from the heaven. So heaven uh, could put uh, its message into uh, the shape of snowflakes. And for example, when I was a little child, child, uh, I was able to see uh, a piece of snowflake uh, when it falls on my hand. And uh, all the shapes were so beautiful, uh, and uh, as the time go go by goes by, uh, uh, the consciousness uh, became uh, more and more uh, imbalanced. And uh, through that change, uh, maybe snowflakes, uh, less snowflakes, uh, were beautiful as uh, the harmony uh, goes uh, worse and worse. So uh, that's what I suspect and uh, I assume in the nature that you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, can, you, can, you, can you tell us um, if, if there is some practices, some things that we can do in our daily life because we understand that for the world to change, it starts with us. 